friends. My name is Speaker Wabi, and I'm a puppetry artist. Hello, friends. My name is Karen Ortred, and I'm a theatre artist. We're teaching artists at Flushing Town Hall, where we believe in global arts for global kids. We are excited to welcome you back to our second series,、uh, in which we will explore shadow theatre together. In this video, we are going to create some shadows using our hands. Shadows are all around us. You can find them everywhere. Look around you, and point to the shadow that you can see. <laughs> Everyone has a shadow all the time since the day you were born. Your shadow's like your best friend. It follows you everywhere. It's always with you. You can see it when there's light, and you know it's there, even in the dark. People have used shadows to tell stories for centuries. Hmm, probably before cavemen. Ah,、uh, can you imagine ah、uh, what kind of entertainments people had before TV, movies? Computers, smartphones were invented. I can imagine the caveman family. They got together around the campfire, and then using their hand to play some shadows on the cave wall. However, people started to develop shadow theater as an art form in Central Asia about three thousand years ago. Back in 156 BC in China, the Han Emperor Wu was so sad about his beloved concubine Lady Li passing away that he couldn't govern his country properly. So the emperor's alchemist Shao Wen came up with a great idea. He made a silhouette of Lady Li and used it to cast a shadow. On the emperor's curtains. 皇上，臣妾一切都好，请您千万不要担心。还是要以国家大事为重，臣妾会在此静心的等待。总有一天，我们一定会再相聚的。After that, Emperor Wu was so happy that he was able to go back to his court and govern his country properly again. Now, this is the first documented story about shadow puppetry in China. Who knew that a shadow puppet could save the Han Dynasty? Do you know what countries have a tradition of shadow theatre? Let me show you. This is from Cambodia. This one is from India. This one is from Thailand. And this one is from Malaysia. And this one is from Turkey. And now you can see shadow theatre. Everywhere, probably you've already realized that as long as there's light, there's a shadow. <gasps> Let's try it. Thanks to technology, we can find something much better than a campfire. <gasps> Grab a, a light source at home, like a table lamp, and you could even use the light on your cell phone and stand in front of a white wall. You can also shine the light on the ceiling, or put a piece of white paper on the table and shine light on it. So now, we are going to turn on the light and put out a hand between the light and the wall. See what happened? Voila! <laughs> That is the shadow of my hand. And see what happens if I put my hand. 
closer to the light. <gasps> wow! Suddenly it becomes so big. And what happens if I move it away from the light? <gasps> Whoops! Ah, so tiny. Whoop! So big. Oh! 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 <laughs> so changing the distance will change the size of the shadow. And what happens if I change the angle? Let's say if I go this way. <gasps> Where is my hand? <gasps> oh, don't worry. It comes back. Huh? It goes again. <gasps> ah, it come, comes back again. So changing the angle will, changing, will change the shape of the shadow. So if you can move around, see how different it looks like? Sometimes it looks like your hand, but sometimes it doesn't. And then if I lower myself, see what happened if I go this way? Wow! See how long my arms become? Huh? <laughs> there are so many things you can play. And now it's time to play. See if your hand is not a hand, what could it be? Oh! Here comes my bunny! for joining us today. Please keep exploring different ways of making shadows and show them to your friends and family. Check out our activity sheet to learn more about shadow theatre and have fun with shadows. <laughs> See you tomorrow when we'll experiment with shadows using everyday objects. Sai Tian.